now we're going to slide it in. Uh, the harness should be plug and play. So as you guys know, American Muscle just sent me some brand new headlights that we did Demon Eyes on. And uh, yeah, pretty much they also sent me some brand new S197 style taillights. So today we're going to be installing it here on the new Edge Mustang to give it a cosmetic makeover. We've got the wrap going on, new headlights, Demon Eyes. I showed you guys a whole tutorial for that. Now we're gonna add these. I think this is the best looking taillight possible. The progress we've made on the wrap so far, you guys have to stay tuned for that on a separate video. I'll show the front end of the car in just a second, but uh, we do need to remove this drag wing because you can see it's blocking the path of the taillight, so I'm not gonna be able to just slide it out. Should be pretty simple. It's a bunch of like 15 millimeter nuts. So. Dang, that is torqued. I don't know how uh, Mike had this thing set up, so I'm gonna see as we go. Might have a double side. Yeah, that's why I don't want to come off. So we have to hold that side with a wrench and then whoop, whoop, get all of them out. Yeah, not too bad. So just to clarify, the wing doesn't need to come off to replace the taillights. I'm taking it off because we're doing some crazy forged carbon fiber job to it. It's going to be fully forged carbon fiber like Carson's door handles, but we may as well take it off now because you do need to take it off for the wrap. Oh, there goes the whole drag wing. You should put it on top of the car on the trunk now, so it looks cooler. No. Terrible idea. What? <laughs> what kind of idea is that? It's a race car idea. America. Oh, this is uh, the latest update on the wrap. The hood, the fenders, uh, part of the quarter panel is done. Actually, the full quarter. It's split into two pieces and the roof. It looks really, really good. But uh, look how weird this car looks without the drag wing on it. That is odd. It does not look good. I want that thing back on ASAP after <laughs> I wrap this car. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. What? The missing middle tail crank. That's not illegal. Oh. It's not required. Yeah. yeah, you just have to have those two. Oh. Yeah, 11. One every corner of your car. All overdue for a massive upgrade on these taillights. I really don't like how they look. I mean, the smoked out lens is for a lot of people, but I just can't stand it. Remove the taillights, you've got a, a simple setup here. There's bolts on the backhand side, they're just nuts, and they're 12 millimeter. Harness from the rear, so should all just slide out. Oh boy, that is a mess there. Jesus. Take a look at this. Old on the right, in with the new on the left, thousand times better. So now we're gonna slide it in. Uh, the harness should be plug and play. Uh, it's cool. Yeah, but wait till you see it plugged in in just a second. It'll look a thousand times better. So let me yeah. just get it all plugged in. Should go off of the existing harness that I already have in here. Should is the keyword. Let's turn on my taillights and we will see the live difference. Oh, Yo. <laughs> wow. That is like a million times better, don't you think? <laughs> LED taillights versus like Crusty, crusty, dusty backyard build. Whoa, you Whoa. can't go out after Mike like that. Oh, man. sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> we love Mike, <laughs> but yeah, that's so much that's better. That's day and night. Yeah, that is a million times better. Yeah. And reinstalling the tail light's gonna be the same deal of just getting all these nuts back in. So it's a twelve, like I said earlier. There you go actually uh, ran one wire to power both the headlights and the taillights, no brake lights, turn signals, etc. I've explained that a million times now, but in order to make these headlights work, I had to figure out which one of these is getting the 12 volt power supply to stay on red constantly and not the reverse light. So I tested that out with the multimeter and now I'm going to solder the green to the red and yeah, we should have a fix there. I'm not going to use a T-tap like he did because this is... <laughs> <laughs> Now that is the final result. I think it looks a thousand times better. Maybe one day I'll devote like a couple hours to getting the reverse light working with the TH400, the brake light and the turn signals, but that might be doing too much, right Devin? Yes, but RBGT, QRS lights would be nice also. <laughs> I mean LGBTQ? Yeah. Oh, okay.
guys enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and definitely make sure to check out how to do the DIY demon eyes on your new Edge Mustang or any headlight. It doesn't matter, make, model, you can do it on any car. Uh, we're also basically gonna be doing that forged carbon fiber drag wing very soon, so we've got some stuff planned for this car. I'll see you all in the next one.